I was reading a lot of creepy long stuff and whatever and then I realized when I read Color Purple that you can write books about black people but I didn't know there were any books about black people. I was really really young, shouldn't have read it in retrospect. It's not a book for kids. Uh, and then I read uh, Nervous Conditions and I have an uncle from Zimbabwe and I thought, oh gosh, you can write about people you're related to. But as soon as I read Ways of Dying, I knew that you can write about the pain of whatever ugliness is happening. And you can write it beautifully and you can be funny and you can be smart. I thought, okay, I'm ready. You know, when I read the final, the final PDF, whatever, I could hear the music, right? But I think sometimes, even when I'm writing a, a sentence and I say it out loud, even though maybe it like makes sense, whatever, I can like hear that it doesn't sound right. But I don't know if I knew that my music was influencing me that much. I just know that. I listen for things that don't sound right. I just think that's my voice. And I also don't... Oh, I hate when I do the football and it sounds like pretentious. I, don't want, I never want to sound pretentious. I'm not a pretentious person. So I think that comes through in my writing. Well, I'm not schooled in writing, so a lot of the time I'm just making things and then I, I say, I think this works here, I think that that works here, and that's how that's how I approached uh, the yearning as well. People ask me if I wrote it from the beginning to the end and then did copy and paste. Because I'm not, I'm not a learned writer, whatever that means, I think I just come up with things and I hope it works. I feel like at the time it was something really cool and nobody really talks about the origins, you know, the, the, the origins of um, Afrofuturism and what it's, what it's meant to do and I think because we're such culture vultures and because of cultural imperialism, we'll just take a thing and wear it. And that's why the, the essay is called Ayashi Samadeli because just stay in your lane, just wear shoes that, that fit you, you know? Uh, speculative fiction? Is it all fiction speculative? So when they, when they call this speculative fiction, I was like, okay, but is it all fiction speculative fiction? And I'm not sure if they were trying to say I'm doing something different with something that already exists or it's just a title that works. I, I hate titles. <laughs> so in the essay I have left a space, a blank space for people to come up with the term for themselves. And I don't know who's going to come up with it, definitely not me, although what if Lon called, I think Lon Brookes called it Afro Strange or something, it, it, it was Afro Strange or something like that, and I was like, that's fine, you guys come up with a name with it, just beware of the fact that you're wearing Afrofuturism like, like a, I don't know, like a costume and you look silly.